Welcome to the disused station of Honing in Norfolk. The line was one of the main routes of the Midland and Great Northern Joint Railway. It was opened in 1882, but sadly closed in 1959. Which was actually a few years before the Dr Beecham cuts of the 1960s. It ran from Leicester to Great Yarmouth via Melton Constable rather than Norwich. And its meandering rural routes earned it the nickname Muddle and Go Nowhere Line. Honing Station was situated between the stations of Stalham and North Walsham and was originally built with only one platform along with its office, goods yard and a tariff shed, plus the crossing cottage, which is still occupied today. In 1901, the station was rebuilt to accommodate the longest possible trains. And at the same time, this second platform was built along with this shelter. This shelter was used for waiting passengers. Unfortunately, the roof and ornate canopy is now missing but we can see remains of two fireplaces, one of which, in the cellar, we believe formed a type of underfloor heating system. And at the same time, two new signal boxes were also added, and you can see the foundations for one of them here. But it wasn't actually demolished, it was taken down and removed elsewhere. The east signal box was purchased a few years after the station closed, by the Barton House Railway, and piece by piece it was reassembled and put to use signalling their miniature trains, which it still continues to do. And this wooded lattice fencing which surrounds the station is actually largely original and was repaired and repainted by volunteers back in 2018. The station was largely used for transporting agricultural goods, including grain, fruit, sugar beet and animals, but was busiest on Saturdays during the summer with holidaymakers travelling to the seaside resort of Great Yarmouth. It even played a part during World War II, transporting evacuees away from the large towns and into the countryside villages. Up to 80 trains a day would sometimes pass through the station. Unfortunately, only the foundations now survive of the main station building, but you can still make out some of the features here. Including the remains of the old original parquet floor, complete with this dent, which was probably caused from when the chimney fell in. And also a rather impressive checkerboard flooring in the porter's office. The main station building consisted of a waiting room with ticket office and porter's office. There was also lavatories with separate facilities for men and women seen here. The original chemical toilet bucket for use by the gentleman was even discovered in the undergrowth, as well as a fireplace in the ladies. The pump house here is also original. Station staff would manually pump water up from a deep well which ran through a pipe and into a large water tank which was stored in the attic. And the original water tank that is still here today. Agricultural goods and animals were regularly transported by trains and Honning still actually has its original cattle and horse pens. The animals would have been loaded onto wagons via the wooden gates, which are still in remarkably good condition. And you can still see the original platform edge. After the station was closed in 1959, it was abandoned and left to slowly disappear into the undergrowth and for a while it was used as a storage and dumping ground of unwanted road materials, with the station building being partially dismantled. That was until 2014 when a group called the Friends of Norwich City Station took on the mammoth task of clearing the area. The volunteers worked for over three years clearing the platforms, track bed and building remains of vegetation. They even had this small section of the track by the loading bay reconstructed. And they even unearthed the plate layers hut. Today, the now rediscovered station, along with this stretch of the former Midland and Great Northern Railway, forms a part of the Weaver's Way, a long distance footpath, which runs from Great Yarmouth to Cromer, 
and is enjoyed and appreciated by many visitors, with the station now becoming a great asset to the area, attracting many visitors. So I think we've probably shown you everything there is to see here at Honan Station. We hope you've enjoyed us showing you around. And as from exploring with Emma Stu, we hope to see you again. Thanks for watching. Bye.